The Vietnamese war is a tragedy, especially for us French who feel partially responsible. We fought there when it was still called the Indo-Chinese War. I went back to spend six weeks, night and day, with an American army platoon. I went back to rediscover the Vietnam I had left 13 years ago with the French army. But except for several permanent scenes, I discovered, above all, America. It began on a Sunday in September 1966. On this day, the Vietnamese in their pagodas tried to appease all the souls of the unburied dead. Wandering souls, those of beggars, prostitutes, and soldiers. my life. Dane, O oh Lord, to rescue me. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. the major Viet Cong stockpiles in the area. B Company, of which the Anderson platoon is part, is installed on the crest of this hill. The company's mission is to protect an artillery battery. Until now, there has been minor patrolling, but the information is definite. The Viet Cong are there. Five days later, at dawn, B Company goes into the valley. The Anderson platoon is the rear guard. The platoon consists of 33 men. 28 are draftees doing their two years of military service, of which one year will be spent in Vietnam. Negroes and whites are mixed together. The American army has been integrated since Korea. Lieutenant Anderson, platoon commander, 24, 
graduate of West Point. Raise, Hydradio man, from South Carolina. Matthias, South Dakota. Duck, the platoon medic. Owens, Sergeant. He will be wounded in an attack on a village. Bruce, Iowa. Keating, New Jersey. Shannon, killed two weeks later, 18 years old. Stockton, Michigan. Mormon, the barber, wounded in an attack on a village. Adila, a Texan rancher of Mexican origin. Sergeant Coates, Alabama. Gillum, scratched by a thorn, wounded two weeks later. Kibney, a beatnik from New York, wounded two weeks later. Labasek, Chicago. Great House, the blues singer, Alabama. Murray, the machine gunner, 18. Sergeant Lawson, California. Kelly and Watson, both wounded. The first in an attack on the village, the second two weeks later. After five days of fruitless searching in the jungle, Bravo Company is transferred to another hill. Bravo! The Anderson platoon is the first to land. Several days, B Company patrolled the eastern slope of a foothill in the Anamitic Mountains. Five miles southwest, Anke, rear echelon of the 1st Cavalry Division. A radio transmitter broadcasts music for the soldiers 10 hours a day. Music by Connie Smith on a country and western tune there. The time right now, 17 minutes past two. You're listening to Armed Forces Radio, AM and FM, right here in On K. And music for you on a Sunday afternoon. Matter of fact, Miss Nancy Sinatra, boots are made for a walk-in. What he knows. 
3.30 that day, the forward scout of the Anderson platoon hears a strange noise on the right flank. Nothing. Only a female baboon crying for its missing mate. The same night, Bravo Company was moved to the coastal plain in the bend of the Oriang River. Owens. Anderson. men discover a little girl, wounded ten days earlier, by a mortar or grenade explosion. where the helicopter delivered the little girl, soldier Roy Mitover of Chicago, sings some blues for his buddies. I tried so hard to keep from crying, but my heart felt just like lead. That night, a patrol from Anderson's platoon was ambushed. In the ambush, Shannon was killed, Gillam, Kibney the Beatnik, Sanders and Watson were wounded.
and try so hard to keep from crying. But my heart felt just like lead. She was all I had to live for. I was just wishing it was me instead. Next morning, at the outskirts of a village, Adila discovered machine gun belts, uniforms, and a list of the names of a Viet Cong female militia. The interpreter of the company questions the villagers. Bây giờ chúng tôi hỏi về tin tức mấy bà, mấy bà biết Việt Cộng ở đâu không? Không có, không có mà lại có đồ Việt Cộng giấu đây. Mấy bà thấy cái... Không có, mấy hôm mà, mấy hôm mà nó đi mất không? The woman and two men are taken as suspects. in the afternoon it begins to rain and last throughout the night.
Anderson. Raise. Hill. Great House. Doug. Mormon. Murray. That evening, the Anderson platoon discovered the Viet Cong camp camouflaged in the jungle. It had been abandoned at least two weeks before. Several days later, the helicopter which has brought the hot meal hits a bound plane during takeoff. to the valley, leaving the Anderson platoon to guard the hulk of the chopper. without let up for one week.
From this helicopter, a loudspeaker invites the Viet Cong to defect or to surrender. Sir, my sister can't get under her clothes now. She's supposed to have a baby in January. <laughs> Gonna have to start buying them. What do they call them? Maternity. Maternity clothes. Yeah. October Playboy. Oh, oh God. Oh, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> ah, airport. <laughs> Look at that. There it is. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> hey, Lawson. Pack your shit. You on R and R to seven. Bunk down. October 27, at Anke Airport, the rear base of the 1st Cavalry Division Reyes receives the pass. Saigon is off limits, but even so, Reyes decides to deck the MPs and head for the capital city. farmer from South Carolina. Upon arriving at Saigon, he wanted to rent an hotel room with a private bathroom. He had never had one before. Then, he wanted to see the elephants at the zoo.
You won? Got two thousand. You won? of the independence of South Vietnam. The Prime Minister, Nguyen Cao Ki, opens the military parade. on the reviewing stand. Reese says he feels safer in his platoon than here. able to see the elephants at the zoo, nor did he have time to discover Saigon. He spent all his money, broke, it went back to the Anderson platoon four days before his leave was officially over.
A suspect is arrested in a village. He has received a wound in the shoulder, but his concern is for the white hat he clutches in his mouth. Five days, B Company remains in position, 500 yards outside the village. Owens and Padilla decide to roast a pig they have bought from a villager. I didn't get the heart yet. Today, the division sends a Chinook helicopter to carry the men of the platoon to the base where they can take a hot shower and buy what they want at the PX. On the way back, the Chinook receives several shots from the village. The third platoon, in charge of the protection of the landing strips, shoots back.
Soldier discovers some gun shells hidden under a basket of vegetables. Someone just keep seated. The same evening, Captain Mayer assembles the Bravo Company. It's uh, very seldom that I get a chance to see all of you together. And uh, I just want to let you know about today's operation, tomorrow's operation, called Operation Irving. It helps you a lot better if uh, you get an idea of, of uh, what role you play in the uh, in the war. While I'm on the subject, I'm sure we're going to get a little sniper fire tonight. I've uh, issued instruction to all the platoon leaders. Can all of you hear me all right? I've issued instructions to all the platoon leaders that the LPs be withdrawn. We get uh, sniper fire from this village over here. They're going to wish the hell they uh, they had picked on B Company. Okay, this and I'm not the best artist in the world. This mountain and ridge, but specifically this area, LZGG, is that big hill mass over there that has a heavily wooded draw running up to the top into the clouds. Uh, that is the LZ, weather permitting, that we will be landing on tomorrow. The following morning at 7 o'clock, the company takes off for the announced objective, the crest of a nearby hill. At the same moment, some 10 miles away, two patrolling helicopters are shot down over another village. The careful plans are changed. B Company provides a new target. The village, which had done the helicopter. Right did get right on the ground there. Uh, it fired and it they dropped. It's right in front of uh, uh, VC Village, but uh, Charlie's up there. He's going to wish the hell he hadn't been up there. The large battle is underway. Six other companies will be brought up as reinforcements. A Viet Cong battalion will be encircled and will struggle for a day to avoid annihilation. But the Anderson platoon knows little about the tactical plans. The platoon is only a small pawn in a big game.
Viet Cong company tried to escape through this river. This soldier is about to walk on one of the guns lost by the Viet Cong. Just taking a wound to the side. Hey, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. 
How are we gonna move? Someone, someone, someone's gonna. Lauren! The prisoner just wants to eat a banana. Can, uh, can any of you take some of his gear because he's got it, he's got it on the side, he can't carry it. I'll take some. Yeah. I got it. Don't take it. You're not carrying it. I got it. I got it. Somebody. It is three o'clock in the afternoon. Nobody thinks about lunch. The firing has stopped. The platoon enters the village. the helmet of the first American killed in the battle. Lawson. Great House. Chavez. Padilla. Bruce. Thorn. Coates. Keating. Murray. The Anderson platoon is ordered into battle again. The third platoon is in trouble. Uh, one, five, one, six, one, five, 
I'm gonna go along with this room of your room. Okay. Just in case something happens, I can give you. Give me okay. One man, Dolan. Help him across, will you, man? I'm gonna give him a hand. Stick with the gun. He's gonna try and get make it back now. Stay low. What's the left there? Hello? 942. Age. Doc said no smoke. Uh, age. 24. You got no vest on? Yeah. Hey, take the magazine out of my pocket, son. I'm getting fucking dizzy. Yeah, you need to go. Uh, just, uh, what's your MO in search? 11B, 4B, have one. I tried so hard to keep from crying, but my heart felt just like lead. She was all I had to live for. I was just wishing. She's gone She's gone She's gone 